We're here with Mark Glendenning, who is the campaign director for Democracy Movement, who's going to tell us what he thinks about Cameron's proposals for referendum and his renegotiations for EU membership. Um, I think there's a fundamental problem with what uh, David Cameron is now doing, because uh, his um, promise to try and renegotiate powers back from the European Union will subsume um, the mainstream of the EU sceptical campaign for the next two years. And then we're faced with two potential scenarios. The first one being that Cameron does actually win against the odds a majority after the next election. He uh, attempts to renegotiate. That's clearly not going to happen. And so uh, he will then be duty bound to have a referendum in, say, 2000. And 17, uh, but the choice will be between, on the one hand, staying in a European Union that will be even more powerful than it is at the moment because of the, uh, the next EU treaty that will commence next year, or on the other hand, um, leaving the European Union, which will mean, in reality, also leaving the single market. But the British people will not have been prepared or provided with the arguments uh, for leaving the single market and having a completely new style of relationship with Brussels based upon um, free trade agreements. The other scenario is that Labour will win a majority, uh, but they will have, in the run-up to the next general election, promised an in-out referendum, which looks increasingly likely now that Ed Balls is championing that cause within the party. And so we could actually have a referendum within six months, possibly a year of Labour coming into power in 2015. Uh, and equally, um, we will be confronted with a situation whereby the uh, anti-EU forces uh, will not have been able to uh, convince the British people um, of the need to make a radical change in our relationship with Brussels. So I see... You know, huge problems ahead for the EU sceptical movement um, based around what David Cameron um, it, it has, has now promised.